and we're back with the horror so I'm just gonna go to the asset store here figure we probably need something to shoot and this zombie uh, is nice and it's free and I'm just gonna bring him into the project uh, he also has the animations and stuff so he's quite useful uh, I don't know if we have any particles possibly uh, let's let's search for nah, what am I doing I'm going to get I think I passed it services no it's at the bottom uh, I'm just gonna look for some FX that are free all right I'm just gonna go over to free assets we have the cartoony ones not really very horror ish uh, that should work just fine. I've had this before. This developer is quite good. I do like him or her. Don't know. Never talked to them. But they're a good artist. This way we can at least add some effects to our guns and stuff. I think there's some bullet holes. So we can do some more with the weapons and <clears throat> we'll put a zombie AI or something in there or some sort of creature, zombie-ish anyways, but by all means we can set up anything. And it's just about finished. Okay, it should be done like any second now. There we go. Oh yeah. So, what do we have? we have let's see what we have to play with yeah we have our horror fx and we have our stuff and sound bits this is all just various tutorial things so here we have the effects we have bullet impacts right that's good. Marble flashes. Perfect. What would be good for our pistol? Probably nothing quite that big. Not that I think we're going to have much of a choice. It's going to have almost like a Robocop style pistol, I think. Oh, that one's not too bad. Okay, so if we take this one and we go to our player, let's go over to our arms and our pistol. I'm going to activate those so I can see them. Deactivate these ones. And I'm going to just open these up and go down to, not the head, go down to where the pistol would be. Now, with this particular model I'm using, normally you would have like a gun model in here, and I don't have that, which is kind of odd, so I'm going to have to just stick this on the hand. And I'm going to zero it out. Oh my god, that's going to give somebody some issues. Let's move that over here. scale might be crazy. Nope. Well, let's bring it down just in case it is. Oh, it is crazy. So zero, one, zero, one, and zero, one. All right. Let's 
still a little big, but hey, that's okay. And I'm just going to kind of line that up. Like I said, like the most important thing is it, is it lined up in your camera, right? I mean, even if it's not perfect. probably fine so the other thing I want to do is I'm going to put it to world and I'm going to play on awake off and looping I want off and then I'm going to check its children I don't want these to be looping either so it has has that light the light's fine, but we, we don't want any of these things to be looping for this. All right. So if I hit play, we're not in maximized mode, and I tell this thing to play, it's definitely long, and the flicker is not going to work for us right let's just turn that off briefly okay so he's pretty long right what happens if we just bring these down a bit let's go point one let's take these all down to point one now, that's not long enough for anything. Okay, let's just take these all up. Point five. It's a little fast. Point two. Okay, that's better. So I'm going to leave that that way. Actually, I'm going to turn this flicker right off. I, I, I want to use the light. And I don't know if this will allow us to do it. But that should be now if I turn that off yeah whatever I don't really need the light I guess well, I kind of do like the light so <coughs> I think angle of light ratio one. Next, let's do real time. So I was playing with these, it was in the HD, HDRP mode. Anyway, so, all right, so let's make sure that's all now. We got to go like that, not on that, but on that. And point two, and world, plan to wake is off. So now, when we, Where's the arms? We use this guy to shoot. So when this guy shoots, and we do our ray cast, we want this guy, particle system, effects play. Okay. And I don't think I have any actual gun sounds though. Probably get those. Look 
can we use in the meantime? Well, it's a horrible sound. Hopefully you have something better. But it it will give us the idea of what's on, on how to set it up anyway. So let's that was that one. That was that one. Audio play will not wait for the end of the clip. Do that. Okay, so the other thing we need is we want actually we should probably do this for this and if you haven't got this or know how to do pooling uh, pooling is great I'm gonna get pooler kind of a built-in pooling system and it's simple easy to use so effective all right so all I'm gonna do is create a do that we have a game manager so I'm gonna add methsm he's gonna be our pools so we're gonna create a pool and we're gonna call this uh, wood or something like that name of the yeah we'll just do wood and then we're gonna take a bullet impact bullet hole. Let's do a lit one. And do that guy. Now these guys probably have timers on them. Yeah, so let's get rid of those. So these guys look like let's turn that off. Uh, where's the wood one? like how there's like four of them there unless I separate those on the sprites get rid of that so bullet hole See, I think we should personally uh, cut those up. Where are we? So, oh, there has to be a sprite. Alright, well, okay, well, I'm not going to deal with that now. So, anyways. This guy needs an FSM, and all he's going to do, okay, yeah, let's just do it in TUP prefab itself, and let's add that, get rid of that, over here, do a weight, I don't know, we'll say 10, 10 seconds maybe. Drag that out. Oop. There we go. And pooler. Destroy self. That's it. That's all we gotta do. He is now fully functional in the pooling system. Let's get rid of him. So when we fire this though, now let's make sure we use the right one because I don't know if I did or not. Yeah, I did. So he, let's see, his Z is facing up, so that might be okay. But <clears throat> we have lots of ways around that. So if we go to the arms and go shooting, audio play, okay, well, yeah, you need something to play on. 
So here we get raycast. We have a hit object. We need a hit point. Oh my god. Hit point. And we'll even do the hit normal. So there's that. Or I can't hit the player. And we come over here and we can do pooler. Oh, pooler spawn, not pooler pool. Get rid of that. And we want to say wood which we'll adjust that here in a second. Position is going to be hit point. We're just going to use the hit normal for now. We might have to fix that, but let's, let's see what that looks like. triggers have a special layer if not they're going to get one so our sounds they're all in layer default so we're going to put those on we're going to give them their own little layer for now briefly no we'll we'll put them on this one we'll put them on the I don't want to have that called as iterations. I would imagine I, I meant to do it as interactions, but who knows? I do weird things sometimes. So, the one has two layer masks, and the other one's going to be that one. And. Have our light thing. So let's take that off. Really should have better animation. window so he does pause I'm going to set him as the start state there because they are on that one okay that's you know I thought about that okay so yeah we're gonna stick these on their own layer we're gonna create a layer uh, no way that's a horrible name but it's gonna work so on no ray. Now we want this guy to not use that layer to not hit. So now we can hit doors. Okay. Rather the sound effect and the animation being kind of horrible, it will work for demonstration purposes. Any who's? Uh, so reloading. That's our. Oh yeah. It will. Yeah. We'll we'll do this too. So we have 
for example, we have <coughs> concrete, and we have wood, and we have metal, and if we look, we have wood, metal, and concrete. Well, how convenient. Don't have a dirt though, it'd be kind of good to get the dirt. So there's numerous ways to do this, right? Like I could, that you could do it off tags, layers. Uh, because we're using that stuff, I think what we'll do is go to our stuff, expand that a bit. Is a very new folder here. And in here, I'm going to create physics material. We're going to have wood, and we're going to have metal, and concrete. And, and for what I'm using it for, these, these things aren't important. So the other thing we need, now that we have that, is uh, in this guy in our pools we're going to duplicate this guy copy paste and paste so we want say concrete concrete make sure you spell it right and metal whoops Okay, and now, so what we want to do, and normally you would set this up before you build a level, so we're not going to do the whole level because that would be insanity, is when we get to this point, we don't want to just spawn wood, right? Now I can copy that and say, okay, well here's this and here's that. And this one's concrete. And this one's metal. Now you could also add a sound, right? You can really just put a sound right here. Okay, we'll just do wood and then a wood hit sound and then concrete, concrete hit sound. But here, what we're going to do is we're going to get physics. material and no <gasps> Phew! Oh, bless me all right physics hopefully I don't have COVID so we want to get physics material name and close that Alright, so on the hit object, we are going to get okay, an object material, trim name, the material name is Hit type. Okay, so let's just make sure that's functioning. So if I say grab that and I say you are concrete. Now I shoot it. Alright, of course we didn't see it because it's not spawning anything right now because I've deactivated that. All right, so under here, we can see concrete and it has the instance. So now we, we, we could trim, but uh, I'm not gonna even bother with that. I'm just gonna do a contains. So 
string contains. So if the hit type contains wood, if true, we're going to use wood, which is this one. And if the string contains metal, then we'll use a metal event, which is not that one, but that one, right? And if it contains concrete, then we'll use the, I think I spelled that right, wrong, concrete, and that will go up here. Now, with the bottom one, make sure it's the bottom one, if this one's false, well, let's, let's default and use wood. Just like that. So now if I go, say, to our doors, for example, say both of those and give those a material of wood, and I say our fence, give that a metal, If I hit it, it has that has the metal. And if I hit the concrete, it will use the concrete one. If I hit the wood, it will use wood. Now we have this issue, right? Well, what pretty good is that? So we need to fix that little portion. And all we're going to do with that little part is set parent, move this one to the top. But the other thing we need is, oh, no, we're going to bring it over here. Sorry. We're going to store that as our hole. So our hole gets parented to the hit object. And copy and paste. Of course, this is to also store whole. So now, I come over and open with it. Obviously, there's triggers, so if I need to change their layers and stuff. So the other thing we could do is here we have update ammo and we have click mouse. We're going to get the current ammo and we go here. So what if here get key down and we use say the R. Now, this is where you might want to do an in check and see, you know, if you have ammo and stuff, but right now we're just going to reload it. So we have current ammo. So what we subtract, we're doing stuff from the current ammo. And we said, we're, we're, we've already said our max ammo is nine. So we need to int operator use an operator for this so we're going to take our no, we're going to take 
this guy's 9. This one's going to be our max. You can use a variable for it, but we're going to subtract our current ammo. And this one's our required ammo. And then we will um, okay, well, let's go and all right, fine, let's go max ammo. We might as well set this up properly, I suppose. We have max ammo, and we'll have, say, ammo inventory. And maybe it's at 50. So, now we can use max ammo. So max ammo, subtract our current ammo, which is gives us a required ammo. Now, int compare. And all we're going to do is say, okay, if our ammo inventory is greater than the required ammo, no, that's not right. I mean, well, it will go to full, obviously. I, yeah, 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 I guess that's fine for now. Uh, so, full reload. So, we need to now ammo. Oh, oh my god. Int subtract the ammo inventory, subtract required ammo. Current ammo now is equal to our max ammo. And you would probably put a delay in plain animation and sound effect there. We don't have that. Okay, so that's it. If it's that. If this is false, then we need to do something else. If it's equal, then we can do a full reload still, but if it's less, if it's less, then what we're going to do is do an int just going to take our current ammo and add the ammo inventory to it and finish and go back then we also need to set the interim value of our ammo inventory to zero all right so If I hit reload, I should go 9 of 9. Only it doesn't update because we never link that part in. Briefly, just going to put that in. So, right, we have this update ammo. Not okay, so it's okay. So, let's take these and just inst go straight over here instead of this. Oh, uh oh. Now, right, so now, all right, I can't shoot. I hit reload, I go straight to nine. If I'm at seven, I hit reload, I go to nine. All right. Our ammo, ammo inventory should be getting low. 
We have four bullets in our ammo inventory left. So if I hit it, we should have eight. There we go. Perfect. So let's go up here and add a FSM. Add items. So here we're going to have add ammo. And if that gets called, let's see if there is a nice easy action for this. multiple we have typewriter too that might be kind of cool do that after add to FSM int there we go that's the one we want all right so all we're gonna do is just add you always could just broadcast a, uh, a thing downwards to send it in to its children. But if, if you have multiple weapons, then this is kind of a better method. So we want to ammo inventory. We're gonna, we're gonna add, I don't know, we'll say, we'll say 20. And that's it. So let's now create a object. Uh, I guess we'll just use a cube. And we'll scale it down. Bring it in. Actually, we should probably make it kind of small like that. Okay. Let's give this guy a tag. ammo and actually assign the tag to them change his name and under interactions so when we hit an object we can get its tag we string switch we got door item battery let's add more called ammo so this is, this is where I should probably start labeling FSMs to make everything all clean and neat and tidy right so if we're at a door we're setting this stuff so what we want is to more or less how are we going to want to do that all right so ammo and I'm going to copy this guy bring him over here and we'll say So here, oh, I think we have to activate that too, don't we? Yes. So we got to copy that part as well. And yeah, because he just loops. Okay. So the other thing we want 
how do we want to actually interact with this thing? Because with the door, we use another FSM. The items we haven't been, we're doing something else. So I think I think the FSM styles probably better. So let's just come down here, add an FSM. We'll just call this general item pickup. So this is going to have an item like that. And this is kind of a more of a better way to do things here. So we need to set an FSM over there. Set FSM game object. And let's go to general item pickup. We're going to set the item as hit object. set like that. If we go up here and we're hitting this, we need to make sure we set that to null. And same thing if we hit the door, it's got to be above the bool test. It needs to also still be a null. Door item battery I'll paste it here. It's gonna be a null. See I almost just want to stick it here, but I can't quite do that for how I set this up. Because if we're not hitting anything, we just go here. So unless well, I mean I guess I could just throw it here. Right? So if we go here, then I can pull it out of here. And I can pull it out of here. And out of here. And I'll duplicate this guy right and then this guy if we're hitting ammo he's going to do the exact same thing as this one does right the only difference is this one's not going to set it to null so this one set things to null this one doesn't so that Okay, so let's make sure that works. And no. Okay, let's double check, make sure. Yeah, see he's got that. So that box needs this guy. Still not seeing them. Well, let's just take a quick look on why. Camera holder, that's fine. Durations. Get right cast hit info. It is hitting the box. It's getting its tag. It's sending that. This is working. And then it goes here. We deactivate the text. So we need to get rid of this guy. There, now it's... Okay, yeah, that's kind of a better system. If I was smart, I would have done that. 
the other ones too. So don't deactivate it. Right? So, I mean, if we're not hitting anything, we go this way. If we hit something, we're going to go this way. <coughs> It'd be easier to build these things down and just extend these into different ones. So, this guy. And all he's going to do is, is null. Now, let's do a conditional. Because they work better, I think. So, we have a thing called item. Item. Spelled right. Item. Not equal null. And if it's or you can or you can do equal. Yeah, whatever. Not equal null. So if he is not null, this will pass. And then, of course, null. Right? Now, well, I'm not going to keep both of these, but I'll copy this and paste that. So if this passes, like it's doing right now, showing false or I guess it's not passing so it's null and then over here will be not null so I'm going to delete the not null and delete the null and then while we're in here get key down E there's our same one as opening up doors so an event is pick up going to do is so this this we're going to use for general items right like we don't want to build an FSM for every single type of item that's kind of insanity so all we're going to do is we're going to get um, in this guy we get the tag right hit object tag and we have a switch so we're, we're going to do that similar style thing is over here get fsm string I don't need to get the tag again hit object tag item type and then we could Probably just copy that. Uh, we don't have doors necessarily, but we do have the ammo, right? That's really all we're looking at. Actually, yeah, let's just cut this down to one for now. I mean, I'm going to use it as a switch. I mean, it's only got one thing, but normally uh, or if we want to add more things to it you know it'll be easy to add to so that's null and if we're going to do a next frame because if it fails and there's something not happening here we want to be able to make this thing continue on. So if it's ammo we need to a uh, destroy object and that is that object. FSM game object. Let's get the object we hit. Oh no, we've already got that. Got it right because it comes over here. We're just going to destroy the item. 
and then we are going to set an event down to those arms the FSM That's the right spot, isn't it? I could have sworn we added something for that shooting. Update ammo. Oh no, we put it on the main player. Jeez Louise, eh? Add items, add ammo. So on the player. It is the add items, add ammo. And then finish. Well, we can come back here. I mean, it's going to, or not there, there. It's going to travel backwards, anyways. But I am going to put a next frame event into it. So now. We come over, we see it, I hit E. Uh, something something didn't work right. There. Okay, if I hit E, control shift P, so I'm not moving the mouse. And this guy. I think I just have backwards. not setting properly item so item is none oh, where's that little box there it is yeah that part's working so something's wrong with our conditional expression oh probably that fact that we never put every frame on Okay, yeah, so we're not using that one. This needs to be every frame. We're not using the null, and that needs to be every frame. Sometimes I forget the silliest things. So C and ammo, I hit E. I hit E, still not working. That's still not. Oh no, oops. That part's working now. So we're here. I hit E. That's going over. We are not getting that string name. That's there. Oh, we're. Frick. How about I do the proper thing? There we go. So that. couple minor adjustments. This is, this is what I get for copying things over. So we're going to get the FSM string item type. We're going to use item type. That's ammo. That comes over here. So let's check that. Make sure that next frame event's not screwing this up. It shouldn't. Oh, that's backwards. All right. Well, let's fix that part too. And to fix it just because it's super fast. I'm just going to switch that over to an equal. There we go. <coughs> He's been swapping these things around. All right. So now we're sitting at none. 
come over and we see something. I hit E, we destroy it. And if I now look at the player, and we look at, what's this guy? Oh, that's the, because of the pause menu. So if we look over, he has added 20. That event fired off, and if I look at the arms, and we look at our ammo inventory, we're at 70 now. So it worked. Okay. So now let's take this guy and prefab him. Let's just put him in our stuff. So I'll destroy him. All right. And let's I don't know, let's stick him on this table. Put an ammo right there. Oh, he's pretty big now that I see him in here. So there's that. The other thing I want to check now is we have this thing. So we have these layer player. Why did I put that as a player layer? Let's put that as the no ray. Now we, we, we didn't <coughs> go around and put physics materials on everything obviously. But I mean if as you're building, I mean that's kinda you want to build all that stuff in right right from the start, right? You kinda set that stuff up, build your character controller and all that, and then then work work on a level. What are we doing for time? Oh, we're just put out an hour. Oh, I didn't even get to my AI yet. Alright, well, I guess we'll work on the AI in the next video. But this is what he looks like. We've got, oh, we got three different copies. So we'll put this guy in around and we'll make it so we can kill him and he can kill us. The scale seems a little weird in that doorway, anyways. So, anyways, we'll see you guys in the next video.